JET is the Experimental Fusion Energy Research Facility at Cullum in the UK. JET was designed from the outset to be progressively modified to accommodate different experiments. So, after each experimental campaign, JET goes into a shutdown period of a few months to enable new equipment to be installed and maintenance to be carried out. But there are limitations on working inside the JET torus, which becomes radioactive after experiments. People can only enter the vacuum vessel for short periods, so most of this work is carried out using remote handling techniques. From this control room outside the torus hall, engineers are able to work remotely, but with remarkable precision, inside the fusion vessel. During the shutdown, two large enclosures are attached to the outside of the jet vessel. These contain articulated booms, which pass through narrow ports into the circular vessel. Different tools are mounted on the end of the booms, including a highly dexterous manipulator with two arms and grippers called the mascot. The remote handling engineers work with an array of video camera views and an advanced virtual reality simulator that displays what is happening in real time. The capabilities of remote handling have been growing throughout JET's lifetime as the head of the remote handling group at JET, Tony Loving, explains. Historically we have been in the machine now uh, operating fully remotely since 1998 and since that time we have moved on from simple bolting activities through to complex tasks such as wiring, welding, carrying large objects in such as the TAE antenna for instance. The TAE antenna is a large diagnostic device that was fitted to the vacuum vessel during a recent shutdown and shows how far remote handling has evolved here at JET. Because of its weight, it was carried into the vessel attached directly to the end of the boom. There was very little clearance, particularly through the entrance ports of the vessel, and the moves were pre-programmed before the shutdown period using the virtual reality model. Operations engineer Justin Thomas explains. Basically what we're looking for is to transport as, as uh, efficiently as possible and as safely as possible without coming into contact with the walls. Each of the six joints of the boom can be programmed to bend to a precise angle. The port to the torus is particularly narrow with just 30 millimeters of clearance on either side. The virtual reality system allows them to inspect each of the moves from any angle. The transparent green image shows the total extent of the move while the solid model shows the current position. Each move is programmed and saved as a teach file. Then, in the control room, the teach files are loaded into the computer to control each stage. The remote handling team watch the camera monitors together with the virtual reality display. Here, the TAE antenna travels through the narrow port and then into the vacuum vessel. It is carried around the vessel, swiveled into alignment, and held just above the mounting brackets. Then the boom operator takes over and manually levels the antenna and lowers it onto the brackets. The boom is then disconnected and returned to the enclosure to be fitted with the mascot manipulator to complete the installation. The arms and grippers of the mascot are controlled by the operator in the control room. Every movement he makes is repeated exactly inside the torus. He can also feel what he is doing because the mascot has a force feedback system. It feels remarkably like the real thing, as Justin Thomas explains. It, it feels as if, you, if you're doing it, it, you get very good feedback from the mascot, um, down to a few sort of grams really. Um, so as you're fastening the bolt, you can feel you're compressing the spring and then you can feel, as it tightens up, you feel resistance. So, even if you didn't have the camera views in front of you, you could still feel when the bolt was tight and you're not relying on, on seeing it, you feel it. The key objective of remote handling is to use mechanical means to transfer the dexterity, skill and intelligence of a human into a hostile environment. Over the years, remote handling at JET has grown in sophistication and further refinements are planned. They will continue to develop complex tasks such as wiring, installing diagnostic systems and welding. 
Remote handling at JET combines advanced mechanical technology, sophisticated virtual reality, and the problem-solving skill and experience of human operators. This allows JET to be adapted rapidly, efficiently, and safely for each new experimental campaign, maximizing the research work that can be achieved.